card on this computer. Okay, so we're recording. Um, so, uh, hello guys. Um, I promise you that I'm going to talk to you about French and uh, give you information about uh, um, how you can target the, uh, the French exam for the international graduate public policy. Um, a lot of you felt left behind because uh, of uh, English exam dates not available or you're not having the proper results uh, to apply before the cap for the international graduate stream was met. Um, and because that, uh, um, I think the French pathway is a very positive one because there, first of all, there is no cap and you have until November 5th to submit your application. And the requirement is also very relaxed. It's either CLB four or five, depending on the stream you're applying under. Um, so today I wanted to uh, talk uh, to, to a French tutor actually who, who has been doing this and helping folks like you um, meet their immigration goals with regards to French and teaching them this awesome new language uh, from the scratch. So uh, I'd like to welcome Alice. Alice uh, is based out of Montreal and she's been teaching French for around 10 years or more uh, and has taught numerous people in the government, in the industry, in um, as a private tutor as well. Uh, and uh, how I found Alice was through my friend Mahir. So big shout out to Mahir. Uh, Mahir was actually studying uh, French and I knew he was learning French for the, for the immigration purposes as well. And I gave him a call saying that, okay, a lot of my uh, viewers uh, would want to uh, learn French and uh, I want to know how you can actually learn French. Uh, and Mahir uh, is like, okay, uh, this goal is actually doable, the CLB5. And I have this awesome tutor in Montreal. She has been super cool. She has helped me so much and uh, you should definitely talk to her. And then, uh, I, before I was able to call Alice, Alice uh, heard about me from Mahir and she was so excited to help you all. So she called me and then we talked and it was just amazing. Um, and she's so excited to help all of you. Uh, and I'm really glad Alice that you could join us today um, with uh, oh, all I'm of thrilled. this. I'm thrilled yeah. to be here. I'm thrilled to be here with you, Dhruv. And uh, honestly, my my greatest passion is to help international students to become Canadian. I want you guys to be Canadian. We need more Canadians. We need young people. We need you guys. And it's perfectly possible. You just have to just do it and you can, you can do it. And um, I'm here for you and I'm rooting for you and I wanna help you go through the steps. Excellent. Uh, um, yeah, so all we need is uh, the right guidance and the positivity uh, to motivate uh, everyone who is targeting this. And uh, we, we all, I know we all can do it. And I myself, I'm actually planning on learning this language as well, French. It's such a beautiful, yeah, <laughs> such a beautiful language. Um, okay, so I'll just share. Yes, you, can, you can sing in French too, because you play the guitar. So you can learn French songs. It's a really good way to learn. And I, I'm sure ladies also love uh, when you sing in French, right? It's just such a beautiful- Oh, yes. <laughs> French is a romantic language. It is, right? So that's, yes, another, another, that's another, big another big motivating factor for, factor for everyone to learn this language. It's just, it's just a win-win in every situation. <laughs> Absolutely. You can have French babies. <laughs> <laughs> that's even better. <laughs> All right. Move, move to to Quebec and have some French babies. We need more babies. <laughs> we need more babies, yeah, in Quebec for sure. Um, can you see my screen, Alice? Yes, I can see you. Excellent. So could you could you say your full name? I want uh, I don't want to butcher your last name. Uh, could you say it for, for me and the audience? Yes, absolutely. So my name is Alice, A-L-I-C-E, La Flèche, La Flèche, which means the arrow. Oh, nice. Alice La Flèche. Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right, so let's just, uh, uh, yeah, I, I did the introduction uh, about Alice. She's been teaching for 20 years, or yes, at 10 before, <laughs> even better. Wow. Uh, and she's taught at uh, University of Quebec, Montreal, uh, Government of Canada, all of these amazing big companies here in Canada. Um, and she's helped a lot of students, uh, international students, navigate the, the immigration system by teaching them French. 
Uh, would you like to say uh, a few words about yourself, Alice, to the audience? Yes, of course. Uh, I have, uh, as you mentioned, I have been teaching for 20 years to people uh, from around the world and in all the major companies as well. So I prepare people for jobs in companies as well. Like, uh, I don't only prepare you for the exam, but I prepare you for for life <laughs> in French. And um, and the thing is that with all the people that I've taught, I, the, my absolute favorite people are my international students. And it, I used to teach at the University of Quebec. I taught there for eight years and I loved it so much that I opened my own school for that purpose. So I'm not only a tutor, I actually, I run a school with many programs for, uh, and my international student program is the one that I love the best. and. I'm here for you, so I even have a homestay. Like, if you, I'll help you find a place to stay. If there's no room in my house, <laughs> I'll, I'll find a place for you to stay, in case you would like to, uh, French immersion, uh, because that could be very helpful. You need to to uh, to be able to speak French every day, to practice every day, if you want to pass this exam. Yeah, so, and, yeah. Uh, similar to that, my friend uh, who I introduced, Maher. Uh, he moved to uh, Montreal for four months uh, just because of this reason. Uh, it's a very wanted, good idea. Yeah, he wanted to get immersed in the French culture, in the French language, speak, listen, uh, do everything in French, which exactly. is like a great you have idea. To live, live in French. You have to experience everything with your five senses in French. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, so. Uh, just to go over the, um, the French exams uh, in general, uh, which you would need uh, in, for immigration purposes and the ones that are accepted by IRCC. There's two different exams. Uh, there's TEF, uh, which is uh, the first exam that Immigration Canada accepts. Uh, could, you, could you pronounce the, the full uh, version, uh, the full form for this, Alice? Okay, the, uh, so that would be the, so the, T, what is it? Le, le, the TEF is a, for the test d'évaluation française. Yes. Okay. okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Uh, and for this exam, uh, you just need a, a inter, uh, for CLB five if you're applying under the international graduate stream, and the the breakdown in reading, writing, listening, and speaking you can see in front here um, uh, on the screen. Uh, and if you're applying under the essential worker stream, then uh, CLB4 is required. Currently, the essential worker stream still has the capacity uh, under the English uh, uh, language stream. Uh, but uh, in case uh, the English language stream runs out, then you can also uh, go through the French route uh, and you would only need CLB4. Um, the yeah, it's, actually, it's probably going to be easier for, for you guys to do the French one because you only need to, you, you need to get a, Kind of an advanced beginner level it's not that hard and you can definitely do it in three months you can definitely reach that le level and i can prepare you so you reach an, uh, an intermediate level so you're you'll be uh, guaranteed to pass that exam so uh, if i understand correctly the preparation that uh, usually uh, tutors target at or for example you would target at would be for clb7 which is the b2 level um, is that correct Yes, that's then, true. Exactly. But, uh, but uh, if we target that, then we're absolutely sure yeah. that you're going to, you're going to be exactly. able to get the B1 level because it, you'll be prepared for the, for the, the more advanced level. So there won't exactly. be any problem. You can relax. Exactly. Yeah. So um, the CLB5, uh, which is the B1 level is, uh, is, is, a, is, is an achievable goal within, within the time frame we have. Um, Absolutely. So, so currently we are in, uh, uh, it's May going on, June, we have June, July and August, three months. And then around September, you should be writing the first version of the exam, like the first attempt at least, right? So in three months, uh, as Alice has said, uh, it is definitely doable, which is amazing, which is great news for all of you. Yes, and, uh, and the thing is that you don't, you're not, we don't, the, they don't expect you to be perfect. There is room for mistakes. So it's okay. You don't need to have a perfect score. So you, you can just relax and do your best, but you need to practice every day and you need to, you need to go through the step-by-step -step program, which I'm offering you, which does take three months. And 
uh, with this program, you're going to be able to understand what, what they expect is that you understand moderately complex French, communicate in moderately complex French, interpret in mod moderately complex French, written French, and write moderately complex French. And so basically, everything is moderate. <laughs> it's, not, it's not perfect. You don't need to be perfect. Okay, so you need to just remember that because it is doable. Yeah, so at the end of the day, uh, you need to be good enough to get the score, right? And that's exactly. it. It is definitely doable. And uh, and then it doesn't end there. You keep learning French because you want to have French babies, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, anyways, so the second exam is the TCF, uh, which is another one uh, accepted by... Uh, immigration. Uh, it's it's more analogous to the CELPIP exam in English, and the DEF is more analogous to the IELTS exam. Uh, IELTS is the more common one. Such similarly, TEF is the more common exam, and there's a lot of resources available for that, and a lot of prep available for that. So that's something you want to keep in mind. Um, all right. Um, yeah. So we already uh, kind of touched upon this, uh, and. This was my question to Elise as well when I talked to her for the first time that if it is doable for beginners, and uh, yeah, as Alice has mentioned, I love beginners. I love that's beginners. Exactly. That's the best place to start because the people who are who already have a certain proficiency in French, they often make more mistakes than the beginners. The beginners, they they're at the foundation, so they just go. They they just go. They walk the talk. They just go uh, next step, next step, next step. The people who already have a foundation and French often make uh, worse mistakes. So I love beginners. There's no problem with I love beginners. You're perfectly capable of doing this. Yeah. So the clean uh, slate. Yeah. So uh, in, in general, um, how hard it is to progress over time, um, like how much time uh, commitment is needed. And uh, what do you think uh, for, for a complete beginner? How can they get started and how can they um, target uh, this exam? Well, you need to practice every day. So that's a very important discipline that you need to make room for your French every day, put it in your agenda. Maybe it's you want to wake up in French every day, have your coffee in French. Uh, yeah. Just make it a time that's easy for you to practice during that time. You could do it before you start the rest of your day. That might be a good time for you or before you go to bed also because your the brain processes things like the the brain will continue to process a language even when you're not when you're not aware of it, which is if you do it every day it's like you're developing these. Um, these uh, uh, synapses in your brain and the whole thing is not to skip a day just keep doing it every day, even Saturday Sunday it becomes part of your lifestyle let's say become start living in French that's it you start living in French yeah. another thing I recommend is that uh, and this I do with my students is that it's very important to make videos of yourself while you practice you know so it's fun to make videos you can make videos while you're cooking or you can make videos singing a song in French you can make videos talking to somebody in the street or, or make a funny video of yourself like you would for Instagram in French this is the best technique because your brain will actually listen. Is you're gonna watch yourself on your video, you're gonna listen, and you're gonna think, "Oh, I could do this better. Maybe I could improve this or that. Uh, next time I'll do this uh, a different way." And you start owning the language, and that's what makes a difference. You're not passive anymore because what I I notice about the students is they're in uh, the, since the pandemic is that a lot of students think that by stand, sitting behind their, their screen uh, and often with, without the camera, they think that just by, by sitting there, they're gonna learn the language, it's not gonna work. It won't work for you. You have to put in the energy, you have to own it yourself. You have to live it yourself. And that's what I'm going to prompt you to do. I'm going to ask you to 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 you know make videos, send me videos, write texts, uh, write dialogues, and I'm going to ask you that. To, and I'm also going to match you with a study buddy that's going to hold you accountable. It's very important not to slack off. I know everybody's really busy. Some of you have full-time courses at the university that are very demanding. 
your French has to be your priority so that you can become Canadian. And you, it's not, it's not like you're going to, um, you know, uh, commit yourself to this for the rest of your life. It's only for three months so that you can pass this exam and you can totally pass the exam, yeah. but you have to put in the time that every day, uh, a minimum 20 minutes a day, minimum, but it has to be, it's better to do a bit every day than to do a bit than to do one hour, you know, one day and then nothing for five days. Your brain is going to forget everything. 90% of what you learn, if you don't do it every day, you're going to forget it. So you need to do a little bit every day, just, just step by step. And uh, you need to stimulate with video writing, uh, watching video so you develop your ear, writing and reading so you understand what you read because those are the four elements in the exam that you need to be able to do, okay? Writing, reading, speaking and listening, okay? It's it's just like uh, learning a new musical instrument. Um, oh, yes! Uh, you need to do bit by bit every single day. Uh, you can't just uh, practice one day and then uh, leave it for five days. Uh, you will forget. You won't. Your hands won't play the guitar properly unless you do it every day. So, it's so true. Yes, and your 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 fingers will will yeah. like you won't even develop the, the calluses. You won't develop the calluses. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, it is. Your voice, your your language is an instrument. I love that. That's yeah. absolutely. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Your instrument to become Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So uh, I'm curious, Alice, uh, uh, like when we start English, when we started learning English as kids, uh, we started from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, right? So that's how we started. Um, well, how, do, uh, how do you start French? Are there uh, syllables in, in French or? Oh, yes, there is a pronunciation section to the way I teach because oh. we, don't, we don't read the syllables the same way as uh, in English or as uh, in Hindi or, or, or yeah. uh, what, what, I don't know what language you speak, but. Punjabi, uh, maybe, yeah. What's the language you speak? Punjabi, that's Punjabi, the first Punjabi, yeah. I'm yeah. sure that the pronunciation uh, in Punjabi is, is different from in French, but I think it's, of I actually think it's easier to pronounce things in French than it is in English. Really? Because, because we highlight the vowels a lot more. We pronounce, we, you know, we really exaggerate the vowels. Whereas in English, it's almost like we, we, we kind of, uh, we kind of, um, suck them in or something it's like the the sounds don't come out in english but they really in french it's more it is like a musical instrument you yeah. pronounce the a ah, o oh, u e you know it's it's a lot much more um descriptive in terms of the sounds you're gonna make yeah so we have pronunciation uh, we have, uh, you know, the basics, like when you start to learn a language, it's very important to use the verbs to be and to have, just to be able to make uh, uh, like different sentences. And in French, we have the feminine and masculine that we don't have in English. So that's very important to learn right away at the beginning, because yeah. everything you say in French is going to be either feminine or masculine. A table is feminine. Uh, the, you know, the sun is masculine. Every single thing has a gender in French, you know, so you, that's very important to learn because that's going to make a difference in how you talk. And th those are the, the first things that we're going to learn. And then we're going to learn the irregular, the irregular verbs because the conjugation is fr in French is, uh, is uh, interesting uh, and it requires a lot of uh, practice and attention, attention. You need to be very focused to, to figure this out but for the exam yep. it's not uh, i'm not i'm not going to teach you everything about french i'm going to teach you specifically what you need for the exam so you're going to need to learn how to ask questions in french with what where why how who uh etc and you're going to have to be able to convince people about something in french you're going to have to be able to have an argument in french where you convince them about something to get them to do something. That's gonna be another aspect of your exam. You're gonna to have to write a small text where you, um, uh, you, it can be either a description of something in, in French or uh, an essay uh, where you're, you're discussing your opinion about something. So that's gonna be very important. You're gonna be listening. So I'm gonna teach you how to listen to different things in, in the news or in, uh, 
just general um, headlines uh, and uh, culture uh, in the arts um, and the environment in science, uh, things that need that that are just uh, common uh, subjects of discussion that we're going to go over. So we're going to go over that vocabulary because in the exam, you're probably going to be prompted to um, recognize what category the conversation is in. Is it about culture? Is it about the environment? Is it about science? You're going to have to identify what the conversation is about. So you need to be able to understand yeah. when what what, uh, what when you listen to French you're gonna have to be able to understand a certain level to be able to answer the questions in French so that's yeah. that's how I'm going to prepare you like all the, those four sections are very specific yeah right and this is uh, that's the listening section you were talking about in which you have to be able to understand the context of the conversation is that correct Yes, that's right. And then, and then there's the oral expression is when you would have to ask questions. So, for example, they're going to ask you, okay, can you, um, let's pretend that you, you need information, you need to be able to rent a car. So can you ask questions? What, are, what kind of questions are, are you going to ask in order to rent a car, that kind of thing? Um, or the, uh, the, another thing in oral expression, you need to be able to convince me to, uh, to, uh, uh, how was I, to do some um, volunteering. So you're going to have to describe the volunteering experience and convince me to do it. And the examiner, let's say I'm the examiner, I'm going to resist you. I'm going to say, no, but I can't. No, it's not possible. Uh, I'm too busy, blah, blah, blah. And then you have to find the arguments to convince me to do it. So that, that's the kind of thing you're going to have to do for the exam. So it's actually a lot of fun when we're in class because we, we do a lot of role playing, a lot of theater, and we laugh a lot. We have fun because um, we have to figure out, OK, how on earth am I going to convince this person who doesn't want to do something how to do something, for example? You know, So that could be a lot of fun also. Absolutely. And what about the, uh, the then there's a reading section in which you have to uh, yeah. read something and then answer some questions, right? How yes, absolutely. How do you structure in, in such an exam? Yes, absolutely. Your comprehension, so written okay. comprehension. Uh, so um, we will, you know, like the, the kind of program that I'm offering, we meet four times a week. Uh, this is for the group program that I offer. So one day we do written comprehension, another day we do the oral expression, another day we do uh, listening comprehension, another day we do written. Uh, written. So the uh, oral, uh, the written comprehension, yeah, it's, uh, we're going to work on reading different texts in different contexts, you know, like I mentioned before, it could be science, it could be environment, it could be literature, it could be the arts, you need to be familiar with these, the different types of vocabulary you're going to be learning with me, we're going to be uh, reading different articles, different authors, um, and we're also going to watch movies, which is fun because uh, we get to watch movies in my program also. And you learn so much vocabulary when you watch movies and then you start recognizing the movie, the, the, the vocabulary from the movies and the vocabulary that's written and you start using that vocabulary and you put it in your essays, that kind of thing. Excellent. And then the, the last section is uh, a writing section where you, that, that's the essay you mentioned, right? Yes, exactly. So you can use all of that vocabulary that you've been learning from all your different senses, you know, that you can actually use it. You get to use it. And I, I, we do a lot of, um, I asked you to write uh, essays uh, regularly. So you'll have a few essays to write and they're not long essays. It's not like, you know, the university essays that are can be complex. This is very simple, very, very simple, small essays on different subjects. It's fun to write about these things. It's fun to practice the land, new language. It's it, actually, it could be like the, the your favorite time of day would be speaking French because you're going to have fun with it. You're going to be using a language relaxing in that language, meeting people in that language, uh, living in that language, it's fun. So for those of you who are like full-time at university, I know how stressful it is. And uh, this is gonna be like your break during the day. This is gonna be your break time. Oh, wow, okay, I have my French class, yay. It's gonna be like that. Excellent. Uh, yeah, that sounds a lot of fun, uh, at least to me, for sure. Uh, <laughs> 
So then uh, for the for learning the pronunciations or for learning uh, in in the very beginning the the genders that you mentioned. Yes. Uh, it, you you mentioned uh, the book uh, La Grammaire Progressive. Is that That's the best just, one? It's that, the best one, and it's the only one I ever use. I've tried them all. I've been teaching for twenty years. Yeah. This is the only one you need. It's called La, La Grammaire Progressive. It's very straightforward. It covers every single chapter of, of, uh, of French grammar that you need. It's very easy to follow. It's simple it, as it, it's a condensed version. It gives like you have one page explanation and, and then you have a few pages of exercises just to practice. It's very simple to use and very effective. Um, you will need it. You will need it because it'll be your reference whenever whenever you um, you make mistakes. You just go back to that book. You're going to know what the mistake is. It'll show you immediately what the mistake was. So uh, I'm just curious. Uh, in this book, it, is it all French or does it have an English part where you can? Um, I mean, there's an interpretation for what they're teaching in English. So that's, that's a good question. It's a very good question. Uh, I use the French one. Okay. However, I know there is one in Chinese. So perhaps okay. there's one that has a, a translation in English. I probably does because there is one that's been translated that's half and half Chinese and half and half French. So perhaps there is one in English. That's a really good question. Uh, I need to look into that. And but then uh, usually when, when the students are uh, going through the lessons, uh, they would be um, the, the teacher, or in this case, if Alice is teaching, she will be taking uh, the students through what, what is being said at every point. Uh, exactly, so, because yeah. the, the chapters are, the, the actual chapter per se that explains the grammar point is very small, it's short, you know, it's maybe one page or half a page, really very specific. So that's what, you know, like in terms of uh, how we integrate that in class, you don't need to read the whole book at all. You don't. I'm going to tell you, okay, we're going to look at, you know, chapter seven. We're going to look at this grammar point and we're going to use that grammar point, uh, first of all, in the exercises, but then we're going to apply it to the conversation and we're going to integrate it in our writing or integrate it in in how we're how we're uh, interpreting the you know whatever movie we're watching or whatever or making a video you're going to use that language from the from the that small grammar point we're going to integrate it so the grammar the way i use grammar is is very interactive it, it's all about applying it to real life okay so you don't need to read the grammar book it doesn't really i don't think you need an english version at all yeah, I'm gonna, because I'm going to explain it to you as we go along anyway. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So that that is basically uh, the, the translation right there. Right. Uh, yeah. Going to be explaining that. So that's amazing. Um, so and then there's also uh, YouTube channels uh, that that students can refer to for practicing or for additional uh, time they want to devote to the language. Right. Um, Absolutely. Uh, and I use a, I use them a lot actually. I often refer them to the students to uh, to just to show them different examples. I love YouTube. I think YouTube is like the best. Yeah. And I use a, a, three of my favorite are Le Français avec Pierre, French School TV, and Parlez-vous French. They're excellent because they also do that, what we were talking about the grammar is that they'll illustrate one specific grammar point and they'll show it to you on the video, they'll illustrate it, they'll talk about it, they'll, they'll, they'll give you their examples of how they use it. There are three different versions on top of the version that we'll do in class. So this is a, it's very, very effective. I highly recommend YouTube. I use it all the time. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And what about, uh, um... Duolingo is something that I also use when I, oh, you do. I, I, no, I use for a brief a moment when I thought of starting to learn French, uh, but then I kind of stopped, uh, which I should have, but, um, but yeah, how uh, is, is it, is it helpful? How, how, what's the best way for beginners to use it? I think it's very important to have Duolingo in your pocket all the time. <laughs> So that when you're waiting for the bus, when you're at the pharmacy, when you're at the grocery store, when you're waiting on the, when you're sitting on the metro, it's, it's a very good prompt, even if, because the thing is, it doesn't matter if it's only for five minutes, exactly. those five minutes are 
extremely precious in terms of language acquisition for your brain because you're you're training your brain it's like you're training a dog you know like your brain has to learn to function in french to respond to develop reflexes in french and duolingo is really good for reflexes that's what you're doing you're you're developing your brain's reflexes so uh you don't even have to think about it because it just prompts you all the time you know so it's like uh, you get a reward you keep getting all these rewards every time you get it right <laughs> it's like it's, that's okay. why it makes me think of the way you're training a dog you know it, it's like it give, keeps giving you these treats all the time to, yeah. and that it's like your brain is like it's you need to train it it's it's yeah, uh, in every way that you can, you know, you need to because keep stimulating it in French. Exactly. That's that's the reward that they give you to stimulate your brain, and then uh, you keep keep grasping bit by bit uh, of the language, and then hopefully with time, it keeps getting into your brain. It does. It actually does. But that's by it. the way, like I, I'm curious, do you know if they've come up with anything like that for playing the guitar? <laughs> No, I've, uh, there are quite a few apps, but uh, nothing. Do they like where they rec where where they congratulate you every time you do something right? I have not used anything right now as as of now. Oh, but we they, need that. We need that because I love that. I love the fact that the Duolingo it keeps cheering you on, and I love that. I really love true. that. I think we need that. We need that. We need that. Yeah. Um, and then again, uh, there's quite a few. Uh, YouTube uh, channels and videos on exam prep as well. For, for Absolutely. Uh, just like IELTS has a lot of resources on YouTube uh, for listening, reading, speaking, writing, not so writing, there are resources, but there's no one to mark, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but similarly, uh, for, for the TEF, there's uh, a bunch of resources. Uh, uh, I have shared links of some, uh, and I'll be putting these slides uh, in the description of the video as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely. They're very helpful. Actually, some of them we do in class. Sometimes we go through it together in class, you know, just to, to so people can become familiar with the process and they just start using it. Just start yeah. using that. We have so many, like, there's so many resources to make this yeah. happen. It's perfectly possible. Yeah. Um, are there any books as well uh, that students can use for uh, the TAF preparation? Uh, did, did they sample exams or mock exams? Uh, you mean a TEF book? Oh, I have actually, that's a good question. Um, and I wasn't expecting that question, but I'm, I'm pretty sure because I, see, I was using, I was using a TEFAC book. Okay. The TEF yeah. is a new exam that just came out, but uh, yeah. until now it was TEFAC for yeah. Quebec, yeah. That was specific to Quebec. Yeah. And there is a TEFAC book. So I imagine there is a TEF book now also that's probably come yeah. out. But the TIFAC book, the, the one for Quebec, is a, a really good one to practice with. Okay. It's probably even um, uh, interesting for you for TEF because it prepares you for the B2 level. It's a higher level. So uh, it, 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 you go through and it shows you in the book, it shows you, okay, this is the A1 section. This is the A2 section. This is the B1 section. This is B2 section. This is a C2 level, this is a C1, like they, they take you even further. So you can actually, you can monitor your own progress. Okay, I'm good in A1, but I'm, I'm a bit weaker in B1. So, so I need to focus on B1, you know, like that. Gotcha, that's nice. Um, and uh, just like the fact, there is also, is there also a test named DELF? Is that correct? Yes, there is. Yeah. DELF is, is a French or uh, yes. that's, that's the French exam, right? And then. That's Test. That's the official French one from France, and uh, yeah. that's and a much more advanced one. But okay. that, uh, I, you know, I, I highly recommend it to anybody who, who's serious about learning French and wants to take it further than just taking the TEF exam. Yeah. If the, if you really want to learn French, then De Delph is the, the 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 next step you want to take. The next step to Delph. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a very good one. It's also a very interesting one because it's more it's more in depth. So you get to you get to develop your ideas more in French for that exam, which makes it more interesting as an exam. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice. So so that's the step after this one. That's yeah. nice. Excellent. Okay. Um, so uh, Alice, you already mentioned about the um, the program that you. So Alice uh, was so excited about uh, uh, this uh, endeavor that all of us are targeting uh, to get this uh, application in by November fifth. 
that uh, she's like, okay, I'm gonna help everyone uh, who is who wants help uh, by offering a fast track uh, 12 week program uh, to to learn French and to get CLB5. Um, and yeah, so Alice, uh, the, the way as Alice mentioned before, uh, so Alice, you, uh, your, your plan of action is to target B2, CLB7. And when you're targeting that, uh, you're making sure that you're definitely gonna crack CLB5, exactly. which is again, the moderate level, and it's a lot easier than CLB7. Um, and then we'll go over everything uh, like starting. Yeah, and 12, I, I have a very structured program that lasts 12 weeks. And uh, we meet four times a week for a group uh, group meetings. And then I give you like work to do on your own uh, so that you have to submit, like the, you have to submit a video, an, an essay, a read and, and answer questions um, and, uh, and then listen to something and get, and uh, you'll have a Q and A after you watch something in French. So the, um, the important thing is to follow the program so that you, you're ready by the, by the end of, uh, what is it that we said, the end of August? August. End of August, yeah. Yeah, yeah to so, be ready by the end of August. But the, the, the most important thing is to start now. You need to start now. There's no time to waste. So you, you don't have any time to lose. If you start now, you'll be fine. And you really should consider it as your priority because this is your one chance to get in. It's your one chance to become Canadian. Like this is the fast way to get in. It's a it's a new exam that I that uh, didn't exist before. That you you have this window of opportunity. It's like your golden ticket, and uh, it's perfectly doable. Like make time for it. And start your day with it. You can fit it into your agenda, but as long as you prioritize, you know, you just need to be able to consider it your priority because if you slack off, you're not going to pass that exam. If you slack off and you say, oh, it doesn't really matter or, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. No, that's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm, I, I'll be very hard on you. And um, I, I, I'm a very nice person. I, <laughs> I like to have fun, but I'm also very demanding because I want you to succeed. I want results. I, I want each and every one of you to succeed. So uh, that's that's it. You have to put in the time. You have to put in the 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 effort, and you have to be consistent. You can't say one day yes, one day no. It has to be every day. That's that's the ideal teacher. Uh, nice as a person, and then very strict. Uh, or uh, <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to results, that's amazing. Yeah. Again, yeah. I totally 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 agree uh, guys so the thing is um so with this with this pathway the requirements are so relaxed that if you get this this is the only thing left right if you can make it in this exam then you're in for sure right so um three months three or four three and a half months of pain is is gonna be all worth it you've, you've suffered or you've, you've been through a lot already as you made the move to this country, you've been living in this country, it's been so successful so far, right? This is one last stage of hard work. And then this is something, uh, French is something, it's not just for this exam, right? It's gonna stay with you your entire life, right? Uh, you're gonna be able to apply for bilingual jobs. You can you can move to Quebec if you want later on and you can, you can live uh, in, in the beautiful bilingual community over there. Um, anywhere else in Canada, right? If you know French, you have an edge over everyone else, right? And around the world, right? Um, around the world, around not, the world. Not just Canada, right? Um, so many it's international, things. yeah. It's, it's just amazing. So yeah, um, again, this is, uh, this is amazing opportunity. Um, and, and one thing I want to say, excuse me for interrupting, but yeah. um, it, it, I don't think French is painful at all. Remember, oh, French starts with the letter F and remember F is the same letter for fun. French is fun. You need to remember that <laughs> because there's no pain. I think you've been through a lot more pain until this moment than, than you are going to have with me. The, the time you're going to spend, spend in French with me, you're going to have a lot of fun. It's not going to be about pain but you're going to have to work at it. Like that's all, it's fun to, to practice French. It's really a fun thing to do. It's, but you're gonna be alive in French. So it's not about pain, it's about doing it. Just being active in French. Active and being persistent and having fun along the way. 
exactly. yeah it's important because uh, it's important that you enjoy it actually <laughs> oh yeah 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 um so i'm curious uh, about the study buddies i really like that idea um so you have a, a buddy assigned to you you talk to them and you're you're talking french uh, and then you listen and speak right uh, not only that actually it's to make sure you do the homework Oh, okay. did you write your essay? What did you? Oh, I, I don't have any ideas for my essay. Do you have any ideas? Can you help me with this? Or uh, do you want to read my essay? What do you think of this? Or what do you think of my video? Or did you do your video? Like some people will put, put off doing the video. Well, you have to get used to making videos so that they're going to prompt you. Your study buddy is going to say, well, what, where's your video? I want to see the video. What happened to the video? <laughs> your study buddy is there to tell you, hey, where, well, what about the homework? <laughs> Where's your homework? Yeah, that's it. So I want to see your homework. So it's basically keep each other going because yeah. it's that's the the only I think the only problem is that when people start like they if they they put off doing something they say oh I'm too busy today I have too much this or that or the other uh, uh, I can't do it today. Well, your study buddy is going to say no way you have to do it. Got to do it. <laughs> you got to do it. Um. So uh, the study buddy is. Uh... Is it the same uh, same same program class that you're in? Uh, is it the same? Yes, level, it's right? somebody from your class who who's who's preparing for that exam. So I'm going to match people like I'm going to match students. So I'm going to say, okay, Robert, you go with with Drev. Uh, uh, you know, Maria, you go with uh, Sandra. Uh, you know, so that, that way, and then. Once in a while, uh, maybe I'll switch you around. I'll, I'll say, okay, now you're going to go with the, uh, now you're going to go study with Richard and you're going to go. So, uh, and it's not about going to study. It's just like keeping each other accountable so that uh, you're going to write to each other uh, on whatever, you know, some messenger, whatever that you use. And you're going to say, okay, did you finish? What, did you understand what we have to do for tomorrow? Did you do it? You know, like, so you keep each other on your toes. <laughs> Absolutely, that is very important. That that's very important uh, when you're when you're learning any language. Absolutely, when you're learning any new skill, actually, it's it's just a, it's, you need accountability. It helps. It helps a lot. It helps a lot because it's really easy, especially now. It's really easy. There's so much information, so much to do. Like everybody's so busy all the time, and there's so little. We always think, oh, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do my French. You do have time to do your French. Do it in the morning when you wake up. Like as soon as you get up, get up in French. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Sleep. Sleep uh, before you sleep. Sleep in French. Get up in French. Exactly. Have, in French, have right? breakfast in French. Have lunch in French. Yes. Yeah. Croissant. Cook in French. Cooking is fun. Cooking is a lot of fun. Learn to cook in French. That's one of the things I have you do. That is an excellent idea. So, like, you know, watch uh, 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 French recipes or like watch recipes in French, right? Uh, yes, and then you have to do it yourself. Then wow. you have to make. Then you have to do it. Not just read the recipe. You actually have to do it. You have to perform the recipe <laughs> on the video in French. That's how you make it come alive. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so yeah. Um, as would you like to also talk about uh, the, the program that you are offering uh, for this pathway? What uh, the costs would be like to the students who would want to enroll um, for different kinds of offerings that you're giving? Yes, absolutely. So the cost is for a group, there are group lessons. It's 1,750 for three months, the 12 weeks. That's for the group lessons. In the group lessons, you, we are going to meet four times a week. And you're going to have uh, the I'm going to be following you like uh, with the homework in terms of um, giving you assignments, the video writing, listening and um, uh, what was it writing, speaking. listening, speaking and reading, uh, reading. writing, listening, speaking. What was the other one? Reading. Reading. Yes, reading. Thank you. <laughs> so I'll be giving you that homework uh, and I keep track of all of you like each one of you by making sure you all complete the homework and everything and so it keeps you busy every single day so it's really really important the other group i have is a combination of private and group which means that you get private lessons with me and group lessons so that's a combo and that combo is two seven five oh 
that's for so so that you actually have access to private lessons and in that case i can help you individually according to your different uh, needs you know yeah. and then finally uh, the third thing i can offer you are custom programs that are designed individually for each one of you because those are completely different from one person to the next it depends on your needs some people might have or might already have advanced skills in French and they just want to brush up their skills so I'll design a program for that for them specifically for exactly what they need maybe they only need one one week of of uh, of brushing up their skills maybe they need one month i don't know so the individual programs the custom programs those prices vary from one person to the next but if you want the combination uh, the combination program is 2750 which means that you get the four meetups you get the the group activities and all the program plus you get individual lessons with me Excellent. and then for the group if that's too much for you then there's a the the group program which is 1750 which is for a three-month uh program for, uh, of 12 weeks that's it Excellent. Which is Excellent. The, and i guess students can always start with the the group lessons and then as they as they find the need they can opt for private lessons or more custom uh, required lessons uh, as a, as a need be right whatever absolutely absolutely if they if they decide that they think it's a good idea absolutely I'm open to that and and I welcome you I love I love my international students and yeah. and um, I love them so much that I have a homestay like I, I, <laughs> you know I you can come and stay with me you can come and live in Quebec with me or uh, and or I'll find you a really nice room and say I want you to succeed that's that's the only thing I'm interested in I want you to succeed I want more Southeast Asian I want more international students to be Canadian please uh, come come to Quebec <laughs> become Hi. Canadian we need you we need your skills I have I have uh, my students have like I've I, they've found jobs they work for some of them work for the government some of them work for uh, computer and as computer engineers it's very easy to find work in that field here we need people like you uh, we need people, you know, they, some of them are at Bombardier, some of um, them are, are at Soft Image, some of them are at Ubisoft, uh, some wow. of them are, uh, it, it's it's just, the, the, the point is that you have the skills, and I know you can do this, and we need you, we don't have enough people here to, uh, you know, we don't have enough people here, we have more jobs than we have people there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so at the end, uh, like I love the enthusiasm, Alice. It's, it's just amazing. It's so uh, uh, contagious that like even at this point, I want to learn French. <laughs> I'm so glad. Yes, please join us, Drew. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear you singing in French with your guitar. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, as, again, um, yeah, as Alice already said, um, like, we all know you can do it. We all know um, you have the skills, you have the capabilities. It's just a matter of putting in the time to, to do it. And again, uh, regarding the, the, the a program that Alice is offering, it's, it's really good. Uh, and it's very reasonable for, for the, the skills that you're gonna be gaining and, and, the, the, uh, and the opportunity that you're embarking on here to get your immigration and then uh, later on learning this beautiful skill for life. Um, again, uh, uh, for other immigration programs, um, a lot of times people spend, end up spending a lot of money, uh, unfortunately, uh, to, to find okay. success. Uh, so like this is, uh, this is nothing compared and it's just, it's, it's not even limited to immigration. It's a skill that's going to stay with you for life. So yes, I think the more languages you have, the more options you have in, in, exactly. in any case, you know. And the other thing is that in terms of the language schools, what I what I've noticed about the language schools is that they they charge you a fortune to to make you learn a little thing, and then they'll have, they'll teach you another little thing and another little thing for each each level. They break it down into these levels where they keep charging you and they keep charging you and they keep charging you. So it's very long before you actually start speaking French in these schools. I know because I've taught there. I taught there for many, many years. 
and it, it upset me, which is why I decided to open my own school so I could help people uh, like learn French faster. That's why I call it the fast track so that you're actually living in French faster. I don't, I don't agree with these schools the way they, they take it, like they take you forever and they're, they're taking advantage of your money and it costs a fortune. I, I don't recommend you try that. I don't. I I know from experience that um, they're going to uh, they're going to overcharge you, and it's going to take forever before you get there. Another thing that uh, uh, you may have heard about is les cours de francisation, which is a program that the government of Quebec offers. However, it only offers that program to people who are already living here. You have to be a landed immigrant. You have to have your residence, your permanent residence, before you're allowed to use that program. So um, you, you won't have access to those free classes until you have, you know, you become a landed immigrant. So yeah. that's not going to work for you either. So the, the, I designed this program to make it affordable for you so that you could actually reach your objective, become Canadian, I love you guys. I want you guys to succeed, and I and uh, I can't wait to meet you all there. <laughs> Come and yeah. live with me in Quebec. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he'll even find you place to stay. <laughs> That's amazing. yes. You're gonna love Quebec. Quebec is a very interesting province. It's very interesting. It's very different from the rest of Canada. Yeah. The the culture is different. You're, I'm gonna teach you a lot about culture, also French culture. It's completely different from English English culture, completely different. It's like two different planets. It's so wow. different. You have to start thinking in French. You have to start having different reflexes, different uh, ways, different behavior. You have the, the behavior, the protocol is different. Uh, you, wow. you need to learn to do things in a very different manner as English. It's not the same at all. Yeah, I'm curious to, to learn about French culture. Uh, I didn't know it's that different. But. Oh, it is. It is. You know, they call it the two solitudes in Canada, the two solitudes, oh. because they are so different and there's no bridge. Like they don't get along the two, so the, the, the two solitudes are like parallel worlds that do not mix. <laughs> mix very well. But they should mix. They should mix. So I'm the, I'm the bridge. I'm You're the, the bridge. bridge. I like yeah, the absolutely. Yeah, I love being the bridge. <laughs> Please walk on me. <laughs> I want to be the bridge. <laughs> well, I, I feel like Siddhartha, you know Siddhartha? The <laughs> Siddhartha, he yep. used to like it's the boat, the boat, the boat person, the guy who was who was in the boat who would take people from one shore to the other shore. That I'm I'm the guy in the boat. I take you from one shore to the other shore. I take you to the French shore. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. I, I want to go to that shore. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, cool. Um yeah, so again, um I think uh, at the end, uh, it's given the given the right preparation. It's it's definitely something that all of you can you can make it. Uh, you definitely, I'm hundred percent sure. Um, oh, so I, am I. So 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 is Alice, right? Um, all it's going to take is starting now, right? As soon as you, you have to it, start it's now. Like it's way. like you don't have an option there. Yeah, and then keep practicing <laughs> regularly, right? Um, every single every day. day. Yeah, live French. Yeah, regularly is not enough. Every day. <laughs> Every single day. Yeah, wake up in French, shower in French, eat in French. Yeah, shower in French. That's a really good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just wash off all the English. <laughs> working a bit, bit in English is okay when you're talking to other English people, but otherwise, everything in French. And then dinner in French, sleeping in French. Yes. Yes, 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 you got it, Drew. You can learn this really fast. You've got, you're already on the on the program. Very good, excellent. Um, excellent, so yeah, thank you, Alice, again. I really, really appreciate it. I love your enthusiasm. It's, it's and I, I really appreciate the fact that you're, you're here to help all these uh, students uh, who are trying to meet their immigration goals. Um, and it's I really want them to succeed. I want all of you to succeed. I really want that for you. That's what makes me happy. That's what my mission is to make you guys succeed. That nothing makes me happier. That's why I'm so excited. Excellent. So, uh, Alice, I uh, mentioned uh, uh, the links to uh, your LinkedIn, your Facebook website, yes. and Instagram. What is the best way for audience to reach you uh, in case they need help with French? 
Okay, well, uh, you can go on my website. It's La Clinique Linguistique. That's the name of my school. Yep. Uh, I recommend you go on LinkedIn. Maybe uh, LinkedIn would be a good way to communicate with me because uh, you'll be able to, uh, to in-mail me. Like you can write to me on LinkedIn. I'm also on Facebook under Alice Guerin Lafleche. So I'm not under Alice Lafleche. I'm under Alice Guerin Lafleche. So please yep. make sure... Uh, that's um, uh, that's important for you to know. Um, that's why I suggest you go on LinkedIn because I'm under Alice Laflesh in, in LinkedIn on LinkedIn. Yeah. But on uh, Facebook, I'm under Alice Garin G U E R I N Laflesh. Uh, you can also uh, call me at five one four six zero one three five four three. You can call me on my cell or on WhatsApp. It's five one four six zero one three five four three. Uh, I, I'm on Instagram under Alice Laflesh also, uh, and on uh, you can you can email me if you want uh, to Alice TV. That's easy to remember. Alice TV at hotmail.com. That's an easy way for you to remember me. Remember Alice and remember the word TV. Alice TV at hotmail.com. Excellent. Yeah. So I put the links for all of those uh, contact channels. Um, I'd also uh, put a, uh, your email in the slides and I upload them uh, to my website. So oh, good. Thank you. reading the slides could, could get your email. And if you're okay, I also have to in your phone number. Um, Perfect. Yes. Very yeah. good idea. Very like good. That. Text me anytime. Yeah. Excellent. So again, it's long distance. I don't know where you are. So I mean, 514, that's province of Quebec. So I suppose you have to put one first. Yeah, plus one, uh, and uh, all of this, uh, all of the audience or uh, the folks who are targeting this uh, November fifth deadline, they are all already in Canada, so they just they can just dial that on your phone on their phone, and they'll be able to call you. Oh, good. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you very much, Alice. Uh, it thank was you, absolutely. I will stop sharing. And yeah, thank you very much. It was absolutely amazing. To talk thank you, to Drew. You. It was amazing speaking with you. I really enjoyed it really enjoyed it yeah hopefully hopefully um some of the students will get motivated and then they, they would make it and then i would love to see success stories coming out of uh, out of this public policy with people who had no experience in french uh, making it through and learning french that would be amazing yes absolutely absolutely and i i think it's absolutely possible drew i really do and i've seen people do it so i know it's possible and and it makes me really happy. I love doing this. So it's, <laughs> it makes I, me I can tell. I can tell for sure. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Alice. And then thank you so much, Drew. Absolutely. It's so nice. And, and, and you're welcome to join us at the meetups. Like it's every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh, at 7 30. Absolutely. Okay. I'll, I'll get in touch with you regarding that for sure. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, Drew.